I'm Dr. Rick Fitzgibbons, a psychiatrist outside Philadelphia, and I'm pleased to be with you on Fathers for Good. Today I'd like to speak with you about men and their emotional lives. This is a very important area because we're in a very challenging culture, a culture in which it's very important for men to maintain confidence, strength, and calmness. In this segment, I'm going to review with you men's emotional lives, virtues that can help men deal with their emotional conflicts, the whole nature of manhood, and some specific areas of emotional issues related to confidence, anger, anxiety, work pressures, and fatherhood. As I mentioned earlier, we are in very challenging times. Challenging morally, with a major pressure against that which is most sacred in the Catholic world, marriage and the unborn. Challenging financially, in very stormy times. Challenging in ter terms of the family and marriage, with a divorce plague and what's been termed an epidemic of narcissism or selfishness. Now, in order to deal with these challenges, men, in the words of the Pope, need to be strong, reliable, loyal, calm, protectors, fathers in a spiritual sense and fathers in a physical sense. They also need to be cheerful. Okay, so how is this possible? How is it possible in times as challenging as these to maintain those virtues? It can be done. It can be done if we really understand ourselves. And this is where very challenging for men, because most of us, we're not like women. We, with our buddies, we don't have a beer or watch television and talk about our emotional conflicts. Females do that all the time. We guys tend not to go there. But self-knowledge is very important, because with self-knowledge, we can learn not to deny our emotions, not to overreact in them, but to express them and to deal with them in a very appropriate way. Now, once we, this self-knowledge is essential in order for us to master our emotions. And how can we master our emotions? Well, the traditional Western civilization view, long before the mental health field ever developed was, that you grow to have a healthy personality by employing virtues, a variety of virtues that can be applied to character weaknesses or to emotional pain to deal with that pain and to integrate that, to resolve it, that pain or to deal with it so it doesn't affect your personality in too negative a way. This area now in the mental health field is called positive psychology. It's a newer field in the mental health field. I was pleased to make a contribution to that field, co-authoring a textbook on how to use forgiveness as a virtue to control excessive anger.